Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the shrinkage and the creep. These are the two deformation uh, phenomena which occur in the concrete mainly. So, first of all, I will define the shrinkage. As from the definition, it is the volumetric change of the concrete uh, due to the loss of the moisture but without the application of any external load. So this is the uh, increase in the strain of uh, concrete structure and concrete members uh, due to the moisture loss. But we don't consider any application of load on that concrete member. It's only uh, due to the, uh, the presence of water inside the concrete uh, that evaporation of water uh, uh, is, this evaporation of water leads to the uh, volumetric change, volumetric decrease of the concrete. So this phenomena is known as the shrinkage where we don't consider any application of external loads while if we consider the creep uh, there is no such difference uh, between the these two but there is one difference which is the constant stress difference in this case the creep it can be defined as the deformation of the concrete structure but we apply the constant stress so this deformation is known as the creep phenomenon so, and also there are some factors which uh, affect these two types of the uh, deformation phenomena. Like, uh, if we increase the cement content in any concrete, uh, so the shrinkage going to be increased. If we consider if the if cement content is going to increase, so the shrinkage is also going to be increased. Because the hydration now, the hydration rate inside the concrete uh, will be increased due to which uh, we have more shrinkage because it is related to the, the moisture loss, the hydration process, the operation, uh, these all processes lead to the shrinkage. So uh, the cement, by increasing the cement content, we will, uh, we will show, we will see the increase in the shrinkage. The second one is the, the water content. Similarly, if increase the water content in any structure member uh, that is made of concrete, so we will see that the shrinkage also increases with the uh, addition of more water right the third one is the increase in temperature if increase the temperature uh, of we, uh, we can say if increase the re, uh, decrease the relative humidity decrease the relative humidity of the outside atmosphere humidity so we will have more loss of water if increase the relative humidity there will be decreased loss of water sorry so we will have we will see there is a decrease in the shrinkage because we will have more uh, uh, humidity in the outer and the outside atmosphere so the loss of water will be less so we will we will show uh, we will see the less shrinkage in the concrete member the fourth one is um, if we increase the size of the member right the size of the member the thickness uh, we can say the size of the member so what we see we see the decrease in the shrinkage because the less surface area is now available to uh, for the water to loss from the concrete member similarly for the uh, creep or uh, deformation which is related to the deformation of the concrete structure by applying the constant stress so this deformation is known as creep and there are some factors uh, which affects the creep so the factors are if we apply the stress but the, if we increase the stress quantity and magnitude so the creep also going to increase the first one is the stress if we increase the quantity of stress but constant stress the creep will also increase if we increase the temperature so the creep tends to increase with the temperature similarly if we increase the thickness of the member the creep going to decrease which is the which is related to the constant stress and the last one if we consider the factor of the water to cement ratio if we increase the water to cement ratio we, we see that our creep increases in our structure member so these are the some factors which mostly affect the creep and the shrinkages there are other some factors but i didn't mention because they didn't affect too much the creep and the shrinkage phenomena and these were the some major factors which were uh, dominantly affecting the, these two deformation phenomena. The main difference is uh, there is no application of the external loads and the shrinkage while in creep uh, we have 
and the uh, uh, deformation of the concrete structure but by application of the constant stress and structure member hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video